Did you know that you can use the coaching manual to create and organise your own match reports? You don't have to be a journalist or Sky Sports pundit to put together a comprehensive collection of notes on your team's latest match because the coaching manual has all the tools you need to make it really simple and easy to organise and access whenever you need to. Here's an example we created earlier. Altrincham under 12s versus Moston Tigers Spartans under 12s. Now you don't have to follow this example exactly. You may want to include more detail, less detail, more diagrams, etc. But this is the way we created a match report for this match. First of all, we have the score at the top. Then we have the lineup for Altrincham, our team, underneath. This was created using the diagram creator, which I will show you in a moment. After that, we have the scorers for Altrincham. And then a brief match report summary. Again, you can go into as much detail as you find useful. After the summary, we cover the match in sections separated by subheadings. We've then got the man of the match, followed by some takeaways and coaching points from the two coaches involved on that day. This is a great document for coaches and players for a variety of reasons. It can be used to identify problems, monitor progress, research opponents in the future, and so on. Let's take a look at how we might put one together. To create diagrams for your match report, we're going to go over to the My Content section of the coaching manual. Here you will see a number of functions, Create Diagram, Create Practice, Create Document, and Create Full Session. We're going to be using the create document function to put our match report together, but first of all, we're going to use the create diagram function to create the lineup image for our match report. First of all, you'll be met with a few options about the appearance of your diagram, including the option to create a diagram that confirms to US Soccer Federation standards. We're just going to create a regular diagram here. Then we are given the option to choose the background for our diagram full pitch, half pitch, rondos and practice templates, etc. We're creating a lineup diagram for just one team, so we're going to use the half pitch defensive background. You can use whichever works for you. Now we're into the diagram editor tool. We can use the menu on the left to add shapes, equipment, players, arrows and lines, and text. For this video, we're just going to use the players and also text functionalities. We're going to start by creating a list of players on the left hand side of the document before replicating their names into the lineup diagram. We can do this by dragging the text icon onto the diagram and then beginning to type. If you're not happy with the positioning of your text, you can always move it by clicking out hovering over and dragging to your desired location. Now we have our list of players for reference, we're going to add icons to the pitch to display their number and positions. We do this first by selecting the colour on the left hand menu and then by dragging our desired icon onto the diagram. We can then label each player with their number using the label function at the top here. If you're not happy with the positioning of your players, you can use the drag and drop functionality to move them around until you're happy. When you're happy with your lineup diagram, simply click save. Give your diagram a name. And click create. Now we are going to create the match report document itself. So we're going to go into create document. 
It's asking us for a title and a summary. So we're just going to enter that information as an example. You can add a main image that you have created within TCM or outside TCM. You can upload your own images from elsewhere on your computer. This will sit at the top of the match report. You might want to use this space for an image containing logos of both teams like we saw in our example earlier, or you can leave it blank. Below that section is the main document information section, where you can add and remove different elements that make up your match reports. You can add headings, paragraphs, bulleted lists, numbered lists, drop downs, images and diagrams, or videos. We're definitely going to be using an image element, so let's add that in there. You can change the order of your elements by dragging the two line icons on the left and rearranging. You can also delete elements using the minus icon. To add the diagram we've just created, click to select from your diagrams. We can see the diagram from our list here, so let's select it for our match report. We can add titles to segment the match report like in our example, and add paragraphs underneath them. Let's give the lineup diagram a title first. When we are happy with the match report, we can click save and it will appear within our my content section. This is what the match report we have just created will look like. In a previous video, we looked at the new and improved folders functionality on the coaching manual. Here, we're going to use that functionality to help you organize your match reports. You can, of course, do this whichever way suits you, but here's an example by way of suggestion. It all depends on how you want to organize your match reports. First, we can create a master folder called Match Reports. And then we can add a subfolder for the year. 2021. We can add a series of subfolders to that folder for each month, or we can just segment match reports in folders by year. In the interest of displaying the folders functionality, let's add a subfolder for the months. Once we have created our folders, it's as simple as heading to My Content selecting the match report we want and adding it to the folder that we have just created. Then we can build up our collection of match reports, which are accessible and shareable at the click of a button. You can share all match reports by sharing the master folder we created. Or share match reports by year, month, etc. Depending on how you want to organise them. If you have any questions or issues with the Diagram Creator tool, the Document Creator tool, folders, or any other functionality on the coaching manual, please use the Help Desk function on the homepage at www.thecoachingmanual.com.